hurt everybody. Right now, let's just continue on with the scene. <laughs> Just not talk for a while, okay? Sergey, did you search Petrov's body, my boy? Did you find any gold rings on him? No, sir. Petrov didn't have anything on him. Very well. Report to the Pavlov complex at once. Yes, sir. I'm on my way. There we go. your current status, Comrade Major. I'm detecting a loss of focus and an intense surge of emotion. My status? I'm losing my fucking shit. That's my goddamn status. I failed my mission again. Victor's dead, and I've got his head in a damn jar, and Sechenov thinks that's all fine and fucking dandy, get it? No, Comrade Major. I've done a lot of shit in my day, okay? But I've never lugged a human head around as a trophy. Did you see that gigantic robot in the theater? There was a combat robot in the theater, Charles. But you know what really grinds my gears? No, Comrade Major. The rings. The motherfucking rings that asshole Petrov gave me. And you know why it grinds my gears? No, Comrade Major. Me neither. Shit. Whatever. It's okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh, we're headed to Pavlov. Got any ideas? Pavlov is a secret complex, located in a remote part of Facility 3826, called Sahalin. It would be quite difficult to get there on foot given the large number of enemies. I suggest taking a vehicle, and, Comrade Major, 
this would also be an excellent time to enhance your arsenal as much as possible. Searching for other testing grounds is highly recommended. Enough complaining. Let's move. There, there, Major. Whatever you say. Fading data. Okay. There we go. Okay, so that's the way. Did you enjoy the show? Major P3, I'm waiting for you in the Pavlov complex. Everything is ready for your arrival. I'll be there as fast as I can. I suggest using a car to move between the research complexes. There was a surge of sprout activity on the surface. The place is positively overrun with mutants. Right. Mutants. Got it. Is that all? Just one more question. No. Filatova wasn't there. I understand. You didn't find any gold rings on Petrov's body, did you? Two rings with better one and better two engraved on the inside? No, he didn't have anything on him. P3 out. How goes it, Sunny? Still in one thing? Astrologers announced a week of atomic heart. The number of enemies has doubled. Oh no, he's coming for me. Get in the car, get in the car. Charles, why does everyone want those rings so bad? You mean the beta connectors? Because they work, but are also considered not to exist. So nobody can prove they're out there, not even collective after the launch. Especially not collective after the launch. For collective, anyone connected via the beta connectors will simply not exist. But they'll be able to see Collective. Yes, all of it. A person with a beta connector will not be able to influence Collective from the inside, since they won't exist for Collective. But they will know about everything that happens inside it, just like any officially connected human or robot. But can't an officially connected human... The trov, that sick shithead, that fucking truth lover, screw him. So much blood spilled just because he made the sprouts mutate. I highly doubt that Petrov had such a result in mind. He is not a geneticist or a plant breeder, and could not have foreseen all the consequences of the malfunction. Then why the hell did he do it? So many people are dead, and the ones with sprouts for heads had to get killed twice. First by the robots, then by me. Morally speaking, Petrov's action cannot be justified. We are in complete agreement in that regard. Fuck Petrov, he's dead. 
I feel bad for all those people. I stayed in the service after the war to stop this kind of thing from happening again. Now... You have my sincerest condolences for all that has transpired, Comrade Major. Oh, you want to tussle? Just killing monsters. Oh my god. So broken. Oh no. This is fine. This is fine. Th th this is totally fine. Give me all it. Chilling on the breeze, just doing what I need.
There we go. Well, I could just melee the entirety in this game. So much loot. So many bad guys too. This does help out. Is there anything in here? Nope. Charles, no one can force somebody into collective, right? Petrov was wrong about that. Not entirely. What do you mean, not entirely? If I'm not a member of collective, how can collective find out about me? It's quite simple. Let's say you walk past a robot. The robot identifies you as a human, but you are not wearing a thought device. The robot fails to receive mental commands from you in response to its queries. So it realizes I'm not in Collective and tells the others about it. Then what? They all start giving me shit about it? Essentially, yes. But I can just put my thought on, walk past the bot and do everything I'm supposed to do, then take the thought off, right? Essentially, yes. Then why is everyone so hot and bothered about the rings? I can't say for sure. Perhaps it's an issue of convenience. Thought devices need to be reconfigured every time they are put on. A ring can be taken off and put back on without inconvenience. There's got to be more to it than that. Oh no, he got me. Get off me. Like I'll take my time, get all these materials, boy. I'll be, I'll be a happy man. Yeah, I felt like two bosses. What? Too many bosses. Hey, the run of the litter.
U.S. is constantly introducing sanctions against our civilian robots. Why do they do that? They suspect something. The U.S. government clearly has certain suspicions, or at least concerns. Yeah, it's their job to be concerned about their country's security. But they don't have any hard evidence. That means they don't really have a leg to stand on, right? Indeed. That is precisely why Petrov caused the malfunction. Right? He wanted to show the world that our civvy bots have a combat mode. Fine. But the Americans don't know that. So what are the sanctions for? The American government is using the sanctions to find a middle ground between the needs of the capitalists and the growing discontent of the working class. You mean American working stiffs want to get our bots banned because they're taking their factory jobs, and the capitalists want to get more free robots so they can get rid of all the workers once and for all? Quite right. The American government is feeling pressure from both sides. So the sanctions remain moderate without banning robots entirely. They merely set quotas on importing them. So why does the Soviet Union give a shit? Who cares if the Americans sanction us? They're the ones stopping themselves from getting rid of the working class. Well, good. It's all about the workers. The more restrictions they place on the import and use of robots, the fewer of our robots will be located in key parts of the American government when collective launches. So the Soviet government wants there to be as many of our civilian robots in the U.S. as possible when they activate combat mode. That'll make it that much easier to take over the country. I gotta admit, it makes sense. There we go. Go to the hospital. Everything's fine. Take it easy now. The bosses know what they're doing. Demon, I haven't even been here a week yet, and I've already seen enough corpses for a lifetime. I thought this place was going to be a regular clinic. I had no idea it was like this. Ha <laughs> the fact... Man, that's pretty crazy. Saharov didn't die, Comrade. Oh, I don't Saharov really care. Lives. That's nice. Give me a second. Du, du, du. Charles, what is this place? I mean, what is this complex even for? The Pavlov complex is the origin of all of Facility 3826's biological innovations. Unique experiments are conducted here. Involving everything from breeding new species of farm animals to developing new space exploration technology. Outer space. 
You mean they make moon rovers here, not Chalamet? Space exploration is about more than just vehicles. A spaceship and rovers will of course be required. But what then? What about after humans reach the Red Planet? You mean they breed animals from Mars here? Among other things, yes. In addition to breeding new species of animals suitable for Martian conditions, Soviet science is looking for ways to bolster man's ability to exist on Mars. So what, they're gonna give us gills so we can swim in gas oceans? Gas oceans are on Jupiter, maybe. Mars features low temperatures and lethal hurricanes. But you're basically correct. The capabilities of your species have yet to be fully studied. So the latest medical breakthroughs, new life support systems, all came from here. Indeed, comrade Major. So many geniuses worked here for the good of all mankind. And now they're gone. There we go. All right, now, first operation, check first floor, third floor, maybe. Ooh. Give me all your goodies. I'm a goblin whore, man, I don't care. I check this entire floor. Now to the next floor. Oh yeah. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. Won't let them take my freedom. Can't let them stop the evil. Won't let them take my freedom away. Gotta say the American people's jobs. What am I bumping into? Am I looking for something? Yes, I am.
now just to go back to where I came from. You're incredible, Professor. Your calculations and solutions are so elegant and logical. Your work on mimetic polymer adaptation is an amazing contribution to science. Thank you very much, but it was really a team effort. Uh, I'm sorry, who are you? Ivan Bikov, junior lab assistant at the Pavlov Complex. I work in the archives, but my dream is to work under you. I'm a huge fan of your work. Well, your passion is commendable. Although it is, frankly, a little concerning. Polymers are a quickly evolving scientific field with amazing potential. But I'm afraid passion alone won't be enough to advance it. Let's talk again in a month or so and see what we can do. For now, uh, please excuse me. Science calls. A month? But I don't have a month. You'll hear about me, Professor. You can bet on it. That was funny. You hear that, me, Professor? I'm here, uh, honey. I'll be with you. Whatever it Oh, dude, croaked. at me professor okay all right Whoa. oh wow thank god this one. Never gotta give. Still deleted data. Somebody, oh, okay, so somebody's actually uh, destroying evidence. What the hell is this? Security protocol. 
In an event of emergency, all stories must be deleted. And I have information in there. Let's go down one more level. Everywhere, nothing but death. The launch can't happen, it can't. I'd rather be nowhere. I'm never getting out of here. I don't want to become nothing. The polymers aren't what you think. They're not for what you think is right. Collective doesn't exist. The thing that exists isn't collective. What the? No, get out of here! Me, you stupid doll! I don't want you to put that poison in me! has to be like ah I, I really just don't get it so it's like he's trying to take over everybody's mind Thank you. 
A better better A better better A better better A better better Swing Tell me comrade major based on your professional and personal experience would our civilian robots in combat mode really be able to complete the Atomic Heart project? Yeah, they could do it no problem. If there were plenty of bots at all the military bases, headquarters, and launch sites, and nobody expected them to attack, they could take the American military by surprise. Just like they did to the soldiers here. What a shame. The world just recovered from a war. And now there will be another. Well, it's not really so bad if you think about it. What do you mean, Comrade Major? If Comrade Sechenov and the Politburo want to take over the U.S. and even the whole world, they won't fight regular people. But civilians do perish during combat operations. You know all about that. If the robots are programmed not to kill civilians, they won't attack civilians. You're a robot, Charles. You should know all about that. I'm a robot? In a sense, I suppose you're right. A robotic glove? What? Neuropolymer gloves won't take orders from Collective? It depends on the glove. Some will, and some will only be able to obey their carriers. I digress. Civilian robots will receive the order to activate combat mode from Collective, and whoever sets Collective's policies will easily be able to order them to kill anyone at all, including civilians. Why would they kill civvies? They're regular workers, farmers, scientists. <laughs> Shit. So that's what they want the rings for. And what's that? You can take your thought device off and disconnect from Collective, but a bot can't, can it? That means your own robot housekeeper will drag your ass back into Collective at the drop of a hat. They want the rings to put on their own robots, so they'll only listen to them. Correct. No, oh, that's... that's pretty smart. to the lab. Oh, that's pretty smart. Gotta really think about this too. I probably missed. Uh, I was like, what the hell? Okay. Oh, I definitely gotta fight this guy.
Oh, shit. What's capable of this kind of brutality? This poor lady. You are expressing sympathy for a corpse, Major. It's a woman's mutilated body. You had sympathy for people just a little while ago. This person is dead, comrade Major. Make sure your weakness for women doesn't come back and bite your ass later. Something's definitely wrong with you, Charles. I'm gonna ask Sechen out to calibrate you. Yeah, that is true. He cared at first, and now he's just, eh. Or just fighting two of them. Process animals. Du -du -du. Oh, thank God. Authorization, Major Nichaya. Right, uh, let's. Do, 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 do. Oh my goodness, energy management. Yeah. The shield, the jet. Increase. Improve the combat polymer to make chemical reactions it's more, more deadlier. All right, uh, high velocity increase. Lots of slow down targets. Yep. And what's this? Uh, reduce cooldown. Definitely. All right. Uh, I got that. Finish that. Finish that one. Alright, uh... Then I got the telekinesis. Uh, mm, no, uh... Oh. Install... Um... I don't really care about the shield. Last fire, that's definitely good. It's okay. Frostbite. Fading data. That's definitely gonna come in handy. Electricity helps on robots while frostbite works on organics.
This is truly a magical land filled with strange visions and fanciful characters. A land of incredible emotion and total freedom. It is a land where you know everything and can't make heads or tails of any of it. There's no worry, no anxiety. This is our gift to you, soldier. And needless to say, it will extend your life. A life of combat and violence. Poor fellow. And now you're gone, Professor. What have you done? I was supposed to learn from you, but all I ever got from you was scorn. My self-worth all depended on you, and now... Oh, well. I've still got bullets. I can still fight my way through science. And I stole the box from your office with your favorite music inside. Just so I don't forget, I hid the music box in a safe. The one with the positive password, not the negative one. What will I ever accomplish if I can't even keep a couple of safe squares? The dog! The dog has the positive one. Damn mouth. Is he stuck? Is there... Freaking critters. What's this place, Charles? This morgue? Indeed. The bodies of the dead are kept here for further study. What do you mean, the dead? There are bodies all over the place. Where'd these come from? There are dozens of them, and most of them are... 
young. These are the bodies of volunteers who died in dangerous human experiments. Holy fuck. I mean, I get that there are certain experiments that can't be performed on mice or pigs or whatever, so they need living people, but so many. This is completely fucked up. Unfortunately, things don't always go smoothly in science. Sometimes volunteers die. The sub-basement exists so that their deaths will not be in vain. Their bodies are studied to prevent this from happening again. Screw your sometimes. Couldn't they just use the condemned on death row for this? <sighs> but even that's... Not all experiments can be performed on the dregs of society. Some important and secret projects require psychologically healthy volunteers. And sometimes, these experiments can have tragic outcomes. What could be more tragic? Believe me, Comrade Major, there are things that are far worse than what you see here. Sometimes the deaths of volunteers can lead to a breakthrough that saves millions of lives. This was how the vaccine against the Brown Plague was developed. Let's keep going. This has to end. That now. is true. It's like people didn't know really how to uh, handle it. People didn't really know how to... What the hell? Like, I could probably burn the trees. If I'm, th yeah, if I'm thinking straight, yeah, I could probably burn the trees. out of here. Access granted. All right, Charles, let's see. I, I did fight like a big guy. Okay, yeah. Oh, frostbite. Increased glow output allows fire longer. Yes. Then I got like the shield. Does it like do passive effects as well? While activating? Reduce cooldown. Then I got like telekinesis.
Okay, so it's below. There we go. Baby, come on, get off. Ugh, this is fucked. Setchin' off is a decent guy. How could he let this happen? An army of bots, killer mutants, thousands of innocent victims. No matter how you slice it, the facility's to blame. Even without Petrov, this place has issues. To say nothing of Collective 2.0. Seriously. I gotta wrap this up and retire. Maybe even get married. What? Nah, fuck that. Your negative brain activity is generating unpleasant artifacts in my body. I told you to stay out of my head, Charles. Get to work. Set me a fucking waypoint, damn it.
Not that bad. Can't go through there, and can't go through there. Papa. Now, what do you open? Like a second pathway? Yes, you do. Melee damage is Look so at the size powerful. of that fucking thing. What is it? The experiments here involve the creation of neuropolymer endoskeletons for various animals. The goal is to allow them to live in hostile conditions on the outer planets of the solar system. Endoskeletons? That thing isn't gonna attack us, is it? It's huge. The specimens here currently lack any neuropolymer brain tissue structure. They are nothing but polymer bodies at this time. They cannot move. Still, they're freaking massive. Are they for planets with low gravity? Some are, while others are for planets with high gravity. Research is being conducted for all scenarios. In one of the vats, you can even see attempts to breed an organism capable of living in the oceans of Jupiter. Oh, let's see some information about this. We had to take Bikov out. The damn janitor started shooting up the lab. It's a good thing the corrections team got there in time. He left a whole bunch of safes in there. Whose music box is this? Music box? Oh, that was the other guy. They were talking about the music box for him. Explore Pavla. Expected to see Victor like this in these circumstances. Hmm. We used to be thick as thieves, you know. But Victor made too many bad calls. Now look at him. Thanks to Dr. Sechenov's brilliance. We don't have to lose 
all of Petrov's knowledge. Dead. We'll be able to return the robots to their previous state once the simulation is complete. He's already dead, you creep! Keep your hands off him! Grenade! tripping out again this is basically like Bioshock if I had to think about it establishing connection the professor says you haven't slept in three days I don't want to sleeping pills bottle of vodka why not both at the same time huh uh, oh you know I don't like that stuff. my brain's a fortress you know, when I was a boy, my brother was scared of the dark, so my mother left a light on. It helped him. I hated it. The light interfered with my imagination. What the? I didn't like children's books for the same reason. All those colorful pictures. They were real. Exactly. The books in my father's library. History, medicine, theoretical physics. Science doesn't try to make the world safer or prettier. It doesn't lie to us. It just gives us the facts. So, I knew what I had to train for. And I made another discovery. A monster in the dark behaves predictably. It can be studied. A monster in the light wears a mask and is therefore unreal. Which makes it dangerous. Very much so. Moreover, the light is what makes us monsters. Do you understand, my boy? More or less. May oh. I turn out the light? Yeah. Reconstructing illumination. Oh god, I'm a furry. Can I can I climb? Oh yes I can. Why the hell am Oh god, why the hell it yeah What the oh, uh wait what? Oh my goodness. Am I supposed to be like a, a family pet? I got furry. It's like, I don't, uh, yeah. It's like being a furry really ain't that bad. It's like just wearing a suit is the bad part. Oh. 
Son of a bitch. What the? Charles, where's Larissa? She hid before the explosion. So what happened to Stuck? Stuckhausen was knocked into a vat of polymer by the explosion and is now deceased. You hypocrite. I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor. Huh. Some doctor you are, you grenade-tossing bitch. That is true. Petrov and Falatova are cut from the same cloth. There can be no doubt about that. Whatever. We gotta find a way out. But wait. The, the twins left me. Which is kind of like out there why why did they leave me they just left me there major you alive no i got killed by a grenade i'm so sorry that happened i didn't want any of this but none of it matters right now. So what does matter, you crispy-ass critter? We have to meet. You need to see this with your own eyes. I'll show you everything. What do you mean by everything? You trust Sechenov too much, but he's keeping you in the dark. You have no idea what's really going on. You need to see it with your own eyes or you're not gonna believe it. You got that right. I have no fucking idea what's going on. You will understand when you see it. I have proof. I'll be waiting in the Academy of Consequences. The entrance is inside the lighthouse. Trust nobody. I don't. Okay. Crazy that he died so abruptly. But hey. I'm still enjoying the game. It's so fun. You explore, you upgrade, and that's the best part. You can upgrade. Okay, get to the lighthouse. All right, with that, do you mind? All right, with that, that's gonna be the end of the video. I hope everybody enjoyed. I hope to see y'all guys in the next video. I love y'all. Hope y'all take care of yourselves. Make sure to like and subscribe because that does help out the channel. See ya.